We're back. Here's the uh, pan-fried catfish that Miss Glow just made in the kitchen, and it looks really good. We haven't had catfish in quite a while, so I'm sure it's going to taste delicious. And this is going to go with the uh, hush puppy patties that she made earlier, and we're going to enjoy that for dinner tonight. So try out the recipe, see what you think, comment, make comments. If you have any questions, uh, get, leave us a question, and subscribe to the, our channel if you would. We'd appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, welcome to Glow's Kinder Kitchen and I'm Glow. Well, this evening we're gonna be making some pan fried catfish. We went grocery shopping today and at the, um, the meat counter and seafood counter, they had some great looking fish. In fact, it was difficult to decide what we wanted to purchase, but the catfish won and, it, and we're really looking forward to it. It's been a long time since we had catfish. So um, I wanted to show you the catfish filet that we bought. It's about a pound. And what I do is I wash it real well under cool water and I make sure there's no bones. Um, and trust me, if we were to find a bone, guess who it would be? It would be Richard. But um, anyway, so I patted this dried after I cooled it or washed it with cool water. And um, my next step for this is I'm going to be cutting this into portions. I'll have four portions. Out nice of this. thing about catfish, though, the bones are big. Trout are small. That's At least true. You can find them easily in the catfish. That's very true. Miss Glow. Yep. And um, yeah, that's one thing you don't want to get uh, in your throat is a bone. No. Nope. But um, anyway, so it's, it's very important that you try to make sure you get all of your bones out of your fish. So I'm going to just move this over to the side for a moment. And this particular recipe I'm doing tonight, I am going to be doing it with flour and an egg wash. So in my egg wash, I have here two tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt. And I'll show you my container. I use this quite a bit. And you can use sour cream instead, or you could even use buttermilk. But tonight I'm using the plain Greek yogurt. And then you're going to add two eggs to it. I always tap my eggs on my counter. So you don't get the shells. Yeah. There we go. And get a fork here and whip this together. I got my pan preheating on the stove and I have it on medium. So my next step here is I'm going to cut this fish into four portions. Well, I didn't show you the back side of it. They've already scaled it and everything. Looks good. Let's go. Remember, as a child, when we were going from Michigan down to Iowa to visit family, we would stop off at the Mississippi River as we were crossing into Iowa, and um, we would purchase our um, catfish. We had already picked up some blueberries in Michigan, and um, we would have a fish fry when we got to my aunt and uncle's house. It was like tradition with homemade ice cream. It was a lot of fun. So... But then when we purchased those fish, our parent, our fathers had to, you know, clean them all up when we uh, got there. But anyway, now I have all of this done, and I'm going to wash my hands, and I'll be back, and I'll show you my next step. Well, I finished cutting my fish, and I have them ready here, and I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper them on the first side. And just lightly. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt tonight. No particular reason. It was just right here. And we do like this salt. So. There we go. And I'm also going to do a little bit of paprika. Be 
being a little stubborn there. There we go. And paprika is just dried red uh, bell peppers. So, uh, and this one is the sweet one. If you went with the smoked, it would be quite spicy actually. Um, and then there's one that's very spicy. So uh, I usually for fish like this, I do the sweet. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do while the salt and the pepper and everything on this side sets is I'm gonna finish making the uh, batter. And I'm gonna be putting in, this is white cornmeal. And I'm gonna be putting in three tablespoons. I'm just going to stir this up. I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. So now I'm going to turn my pan down a little. I'm smelling it and telling me it's ready. So I'm going to just flip this over the fish um, pieces. And I'm going to salt and pepper and put paprika on the other side. As soon as I get that done, I'll be back with you and I'm going to show you how, what I do next. Hi, well I got my fish fillets all salt peppered and put the paprika on them. And this other side now is setting there for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put my canola oil in my pan and just enough to cover the bottom. And see how that's shimmering already? I think I need a little shimmering bit more. and shaking, Miss Glow. So while that's finishing heating up, we're going to start with the first fillet. So what you do is, first of all, you take it and you put it in your flour, and you want to get it all over your fish. And then the next step is, you put it in your batter. We're going to take it over here, and I do the first side with the, where the skin was down. And skin that, side down, I'm mm -hmm, and That's the sizzle you want to hear. Of course, this doesn't have the skin on it, but you can tell which part is it's the smooth side that had, was where the skin was. So let's go ahead and do the next one. Okay. Again, the flour. There we go. And I try to keep my hands one for the dry and one for the wet, so you don't have so much problem with your hands getting really messy. So I'm going to go over here and keep put my, it in here. Keep mine dry so it doesn't mess up the camera. And these will take about, oh, four minutes maybe on the first side. There's number two. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this and I'll be back and we'll show you when we flip them. Hi, well our fish has been in here now for about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the first one. And what I have done is when these were cooking, as they were cooking about halfway through, I rotated the fish like this because my pan is big. And I just wanted to make sure that they were being cooked evenly. So just so you know what I did. And I did that on all of these. Now let's go ahead and this was the first one we put in. So let's go ahead and flip it and see. Look how pretty that Looks is. Good. So pretty, Miss Blue. Yep. Smells good too. So let's flip the next one. This was the second one I put in. And of course it won't let me get a, get a fork, fork or something. something. It doesn't want to cooperate. But it's not gonna win. There we go. Mm. Looks good. This was the third one. Look how good those look. That's Golden the fourth brown. one. Golden brown. This yeah, one. and they, oh, they smell delicious. They so are. anyway, they're going to continue to cook probably for another uh, four minutes, and I'll be back to show you. Hi. Well, our fish are done. They've been cooking for an additional about seven minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and remove them. And let's show you the back side of one of these. See how nice and golden brown they got? 
Very nice, Miss Chloe. So we're going to let them cool here just a little bit, and then we'll cut into one so you guys can see what it looks like. Be back in a moment. Hi, so I just wanted to show you what this fish looks like. It's been about four minutes since I took it out, and you can see how flaky that is. It, it is flaky, Miss Chloe. Yeah, it really is. Like some people I know. So... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I wanted to share with you, too, when I clean up after cooking meat, fish, or whatever, you probably noticed I had some flour left in my dish. I do not save that. I toss it because I don't want any contamination, and I toss it in my trash, not down my sink because you don't want to clog up your drains. But I just thought I'd share that with you because I don't want anybody to uh, ever get sick from cooking. And it sounds like Lucy is ready to have dinner as well. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. And if you like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. We would appreciate it. Bye.